As you guys know, I'm still sick, so please just bear with my voice. Oh my gosh. But anyway, you want to start off by braiding your client's hair and putting the closure on first. Then you're going to apply the glue. You can use up to two or three layers of glue. It's totally up to you what you want to use. After that, I'm not going to lay the closure down yet. I'm just going to let the glue dry and I'm going to keep applying my application. When you're doing this and letting the glue dry, you can go ahead and start sewing in your first bundle. Usually when you're sewing your first bundle, it's the longest bundle that you want to use. closure down like always you want to make sure you pull it tightly down onto the scalp making sure that all the lace is melting with the glue this is how you're going to get that melt look or that um just the look that you're going for you don't want no lace showing or anything like that choose to have baby hairs or not it's totally up to you but my clients slash friend wanted to have baby hairs of course you know all my friends love baby hairs I don't have no friend that don't like baby hairs like except for one and I love her because I never have to do baby hairs with her but anyway you want to separate the baby hairs cut them and get them out the way I'm just spraying the hair down with some water just so it doesn't look frizzy anymore from sewing it in and brushing it and combing it and plucking it, you know, so you just want it to look good. You want to blend all the hair in together. <laughs> After customizing your lace, you want to go in with some mousse and you want to lay it on the hair. You're going to take your comb and you want to comb the mousse through the hair. You do not just want to leave it at the top. You're going to comb the mousse through the hair and you're going to be very careful when laying the mousse on the baby hairs because you just glued down the hair. So you have to be very careful and be very light when touching the baby hairs and touching the lace closure. <laughs>
You can sit under the dryer or blow dry your hair for about 5 to 10 minutes or 15 minutes is up to you. And then you can take the wrap off and continue with the process. <laughs> take the wrap off I always like to shape the baby hairs because I do take the wrap sometimes the baby hairs the baby hairs may be messy so I'm gonna take my comb and I'm just gonna shape the baby hairs as to where I like them and then I'm gonna comb them a little bit out just so they don't look too molded down and they look a little bit more natural <laughs> This is the finished product. You guys can check my description box to purchase hair and book an appointment with me. This looks so good. She has three bundles and a lace closure that I made to look like a frontal. For those of you that aren't able to do a frontal or who just don't like frontals at all, you're able to have your lace closure look like a frontal at the top. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'm definitely coming out with more. And to keep you posted, please turn on notifications. Bye, you guys. Thank you.